G'day, welcome to Yan Yan Gert West Farm. I'm Andrew Stewart and we've been farming this 230 hectare sheep property for five generations. Our farm does many things. We run 1,300 ewes that raise around 1,500 to 1,800 lambs per year, which produce over 40 bales of wool each year. The trees on the Stewart farm are very useful. Tree products from these harvests include roundwood for construction and pulp for paper production from bluegum shelter belts. Other products include seeds from our seed orchard, logs for growing shiitake mushrooms, Christmas trees from pine plantation thinnings, and banksias and tree foliage for the floral trade. The Stewart family farm wasn't always this productive, but clever thinking, adopting proven techniques, and some ingenuity turned it around. Changes to this once degraded farming landscape started with my father, who recognised the farm had been over cleared of vegetation. Since taking over the farm, Yan Yan Gert West Farm has gone from 3.5% woody vegetation in 1991 to 18% in 2021, with the establishment of more than 50,000 trees and shrubs. The trees and shrubs haven't been planted just anywhere. They have been carefully selected to address different areas to help with different environmental factors. Tree planting has occurred along different soil types, creek and drainage lines, salt affected, waterlogged and eroded areas, and as protection for old trees. There is now a 23 kilometre interface of plantation to pasture providing a biological infrastructure which produces multiple benefits such as addressing environmental issues, it enhances farm production and provides income streams from tree products, diversifying farm income as part of good risk management. Over here we have a shelter belt and you can see the smooth pruned trunks of the spotted gums being managed for saw logs and there's also understory there to attract the beneficial insects and pollinators and also birds and to help with shelter protection. Planting trees has also attracted more native wildlife back into these landscapes. We have counted that planting trees and shrubs has attracted more birds with 113 species identified. The introduction of shelter belts can make a huge difference to a farm's production line, productivity and money the farm makes to stay open. But did you know that a shelter belt can also save the lives of animals? Down here we have an area which has been planted out using a direct seeding technique to provide shade and shelter for the livestock. It also provides important shade during heat waves and cools the farm and a protected area for newly shorn sheep. We select our best sheltered paddocks to lamb twin bearing ewes as they are the most vulnerable in the production cycle. The Stewart Farm has grown and adapted to not just its surroundings and needs, but also the needs of the community. Andrew's father made those changes for the farm's future survival. It's at its best, not just for the generations to survive from it now, but for many generations to come. Of course, landscapes, climates, and farm types all have a bearing on how trees can be used in different ways on farms. So join us for another episode to learn how other farmers are successfully putting trees to work and reaping the rewards for the farm business, the environment, and all the while producing the ultimate renewable resource of wood. Mm -hmm.